this is officially produced by KFC themselves. This isn't someone who was like, oh, I want to make a, a fan game for KFC because I'm so in love with the Colonel. No, 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 no. This is something that KFC made so that you can date Colonel Sanders, which you know what? You have to forget basically anything you know about the real life Colonel Sanders. You know, the real man who like was really angry and like, I think tried to punch someone in court. And just stuff like that. Throw that all away. This, this, this is a high school, college, I think he's a student, student. And it is a complete spoof. It is a funny game for the sake of being funny. So we're going to try to woo Colonel Sanders. We're going to try and woo him. It's as ridiculous as it sounds. I'm fully aware of how stupid this is. But you know what? I want to play it because I think it's going to be funny and fun and everything. So let's, let's, let's view this together. Let's view this together. Are you guys ready? We've reached the 10 minute mark. So I'm gonna take one final bite of my mac and cheese. Well, not final, but I'm gonna take one more bite of my mac and cheese and we're gonna start this. I haven't seen it. I just heard the music and it sounds amazing. Let's do this. <sighs> Let's do this. Dear goodness gracious. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh God! <laughs> Typing sound is not pleasant. Guys, should I, do you guys want me to go with Melody for the name or should I, I no, nah, I'm gonna do Melody. Oh my God. <laughs> the biscuits, I, it, I haven't eaten in KFC at KFC in years. I honestly haven't. I remember it being good, but I don't know. Okay. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. Look at the ch I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna take a few minutes before I continue. We've got some type of boy band, which I can only assume is, is K-pop. We've got, I like that the, the, the Julie box is a KFC box. And yes, the final thing I was gonna point out is the chicken poster. The chicken is T-posing over the bed. The chicken is T-posing over the, oh God, I'm not ready for this. Oh my God, I'm not ready for this. I can do this. I can so do this. Anyways, let's continue. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in this moment forever. Oh God, a chicken alarm clock. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. So, so I'm curious. Okay, well, well, I guess, you know what guys, I'm feeling lazy. I'm gonna throw the clock at, <laughs> You slept through the school year and gave up your once in a time. <laughs> lifetime opportunity. Sorry. You slept through the school year and gave up a once in a lifetime opportunity to make Colonel Sanders. Game over already? You might not be cut out with this. I give up. 
Oh wait, no! Wait! <laughs> oh! We're gonna- <laughs> No! Wait, skip! Skip! Wait, no, I didn't mean this! Guys, I'm so sorry! <laughs> wait, no! Wait, no! Okay, I found a way to skip it. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> Let's try this again. I didn't know it would quit. I was curious. Smack that clock up and at him. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. There is so much redundancy in that sentence. Oh goodness gracious. Oh god, I'm so- oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. Guys, do we need to take this seriously, or are we gonna day daydream? I need you guys to decide. I want you guys to know. <laughs> take it seriously? Yeah, you know what? You know what? This is, this is our first day at University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. We need to take this seriously. We need, we need to do this. We need to get this right. So you know what? We're, we need to take this seriously. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the cooking, the University of Cooking Academy for Learning. And we're gonna learn to cook. I better, I better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. You bust through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. I mean, I hope, I hope clothing has been put on that list somewhere. Because it does, I, I would assume it's on the list. I'm putting on that pair of like red sneakers in the corner. That, that'd be nice, you know, just, just, that'd be nice. You confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door and head off to class. <laughs> this is a game made to sell this stuff. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am playing an ad. This is not sponsored. I am playing an ad. <laughs> Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. This looks straight out of an anime. And it's beautiful. I love this. I love this. Okay. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person, sh sorry, narrative voice. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Melody. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm, because I too am excited. A, a, a little nervous, okay, okay, a, a lot nervous. What's the? It's just a. This morning I I made breakfast for myself and well when I ate it I couldn't taste the love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam, raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. This is a high energy game. This is a high energy game. This is such a high energy game. Oh my god, ah, I was right, it did cheer me up, certainly. I was not prepared for this. I don't know if anybody was prepared for this. <laughs> She's always held herself to a very high standard, okay. Ever since we were little, oh wait, sorry, this is me talking. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. Quicksand box? Quick, a uh, quick, that is highly dangerous, excuse me. Okay, quicksand, they were little babies. Why did 
their parents let them play in a quicksand box? I shouldn't question this. I should keep going. <laughs> but with University of Cooking... Oh my god. But with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. A sweet girl, Miriam, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she tipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. There's a lot to unpack there. There's a lot to unpack. Oh my god. There's, there's so much. Okay. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give some relief? I think we should pep talk her. What do you guys think? Like, this is our best friend, Miriam, who's fr kind of freaking out. What do you guys think? Should we change the subject or should we talk to her? I want to encourage her. I don't know about you guys. I want to encourage her. We have one pep talk. Any other, any other things? Like, I think we should pep talk her. I think we're going to pep talk her. Pep talk it is. Pep talk. Miriam, you're an amazing person and I, I apparently love you. So, well, I don't... That sounded weird. You are my best friend. I'm going to pep talk you because, girl, you got this. Remember last month when... <clears throat> Remember last month when we saw that fortune tower and had our tarot cards read? That sounds so cool. Hmm. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. Is my Miriam voice okay? I don't want it to sound too annoying, but I also... Meh, I want it to sound different than mine. I don't think it... Meh. How's my Miriam voice? People who can somewhat watch the stream? Is it annoying? It's not... It's all right. I'm gonna try. The lady with the mask has given me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? <laughs> I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow that I could call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. At all. There is so much, so much redundancy in the dialogue. She's super cute, though. I gotta admit. I don't know. Wait a minute. I just realized her hair reminds me of Mel's. Oh no. She has the, she has the green and pink, green and pink hair. Oh no. <laughs> Honey, don't cry. I know, listen, we all get our first day jitters on the first day of college. It sucks, but it's gonna be fine. Although this is apparently a three day long semester. In which case, how do you expect anybody to learn that much in three days? I feel like you guys must have gone to some preppy high school that was cooking. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, I at least have these killer bangs. That, that's it, Miriam. That's it. I agree, Blue Cloud. Three, three days is really short. But that's it, Miriam. You know what? You, you need to rock it. You self-love. We are self-love here. We love self-love here. And she and you are gonna rock your day with those awesome bangs and those cute braids with the lovely bow and your amazing outfit. You got this. You got this. Can you believe I cut them myself? You can definitely believe. Excuse me, narrator. I think her bangs look great. They look very cute. What is this sass I am seeing? You can definitely believe it. You know what? I'm gonna take this in a positive light. I can believe it because she's an amazing and talented individual. I, uh, I cannot believe it. What is with this game? You guys being so mean to poor Miriam. Uh, I, uh, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another, before you can get another word out, 
you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Okay. Hey! I, I, what is this name? Is this supposed? It's Ash, Ash, Ashley. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. Jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. She's very cute too. Hello, Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. What kind of an insult is that? Chicken sh I mean, I think my shins are fine personally, but like, who cares about the size of their shins? Like, it's, I, I get it that it was like thighs or calves, but like shins? Like, that's, that's, what? Okay, this game. <laughs> you leave Melody's shins alone. They are perfect. I didn't realize I put it in all caps. You leave Melody's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Lens, Lens, why are you simping for the villain? <laughs> Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her, Ashley, even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. That's not better. It just makes, it just makes, it just makes, that's not better. It just makes, that's not better at all. It just makes it more complicated to say. Squirrels in my pants, the original one. Anyways, if anyone knows what perfect shins look, if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the school, <laughs> oh no, I just read the name of her best friend. Across the quad, you can see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> Van Van the Man Man. Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Why are you looking at his glutes? Van Van the Man Man. Van Van the Man Man. Van Van the Man Man. <coughs> Van Van! <coughs> Sorry. Getting into a voice. <coughs> uh, Van Van! You rang rang. Oh my god. <laughs> you rang rang. No! 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 No, no! No, 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 no! 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 <laughs> what is this game? We haven't even met Colonel Sanders yet. What is this game? You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have always been just as close as you. Ashley and Van Van have always just been as eh. Ashley and Van Van have always been just as close as you, but substantially more devious. Yeah, that that's. Don't worry, Lens. They're just friends. Ashley doesn't have a boyfriend, as far as I know. She's just the man that follow that they're friends with. Why? Why KFC? Both of these girls' expressions to him makes perfect sense. I, I Van Van. Er, uh, oh my gosh! His hair is the shape of a star. His hair is literally the shape of a star. I just realized, why? How did you shape your hair like that? That's impressive. I can't believe 
I can't believe that the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would even allow people like you to attend as students. I wish you guys could see my I'm just flabbergasted. I... What is this game? I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I know. Oh dear God! With the first day of school about to start, there is just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Later, losers. Okay. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard, pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Okay. Uh, oopsie. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! I'm probably making him sound a lot more adorable than he actually is. I this is the campus. We're on, we're on a college campus right now. I'm assuming he's at the entrance and they didn't have things, things for that. I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also, also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi, Pop. I'm Melody, so are you going to make me hold this door all day? And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? Miriam, I don't know the age of this. He's reading it. His, so, from what I can tell, the name tag is Bob. So, he read it upside down, so it looks like Pop. Also, Miriam, I think he's a child. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? I think it's just you, Miriam. I think it's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that he's not actually a child. I hope he's not actually a child. You both shrug your shoulders before following in him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting. This is nice music. What? Is this a... Can someone look up this image? Is this a CEO at, like, KFC? Is that what this image is? I feel like it's someone. You can see Poland. Somewhere there. And then we... I like the KFC bucket. You know, we gotta get in our advertising everywhere. Even, like, here. Which I assume is a pause button. A a scruffy looking cooch takes his place at the podium of the front of the class. Adorable. Hmm, I need a good voice for the dog because apparently Sprinkles is a talking dog. <clears throat> no, no, quiet down everyone. <laughs> unreasonably cute pop and why is he in our culinary class oh that was me crap i talked like miriam when it was me you must be sprinkles head instructor ceo of ucsal his name is sprinkles he's a corgi and he's on a podium that has a chicken on it what is this game what is this game what is what <laughs> It's beautiful, I love it, but oh my god. 
Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! I do a convincing dog impression. I feel like it's a convincing one. Probably not. Needle's shaking their head at me. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Oh my god. He has little glasses. His little glasses. I need a, a professor voice. Oh no. Guys, I think it's the big reveal time. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the big reveal time. <laughs> I did I missed the line. I missed the line! Oh whatever. I'm assuming it's suddenly someone comes through the door and a bunch of flower petals flow in or something. I'm chilly. Someone close I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then, here's the reveal, guys. <laughs> he walks in. He walks in. You're immediately swept by the aura of this new student and his remarkably, his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. <laughs> it's him! It's... <laughs> if it is... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland... Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. <laughs> Please. I am doing this. What do you guys think? Please, call me Colonel. <laughs> Does that work? Is everybody okay with that voice? <laughs> Nail's not okay with this game. Part of me is just like, I didn't pull you on this <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta keep going and I'm going with that voice. Colonel Sanders. I don't know whether to go sexy or to go accent or to try to combine the two. A hushed murmur rolls across the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisles of guests. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to bead across your bow, brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. <sighs> and oh my gosh, I just realized Ashley's uh, knee high, like thigh high socks have, have chicken thighs on them. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should. Maybe we should open the window back up before a faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Hold on just a second! Nobody talks to my friend like that! You two both know my name! We were in the same kindergarten class! And what's with all your really weird insults? Who calls anybody that? Besides, when Melody Switz, sorry, this is turning, besides, when Melody Switz is not gross, it's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Miriam, I know you're trying. I know you're trying to be nice, but I don't think that's what you I needed to hear right now. I, I have one option. I take a moment to please yourself up. It's a good thing you didn't forget this mo morning, <laughs> this, that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Guys, I am a dramatic actress, and I love it. So you're gonna get very dramatic things. I'm taking this to the next level. 